Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this episode, let's talk about how we can utilize Copilot with Power Pages. So let's get started. In Microsoft Build 2023, Copilot was the most buzzing word. We already discussed about the Power Automate, Power Apps and Power Virtual Agents Copilot in our earlier episodes. So now let's focus on Power Pages. So without further delay, let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. So here I am on my machine and I have opened one power page. Now let's say I want to add some sort of content. So I will add text as a control. And over here you can see that I can see this kind of icon for Copilot. Let's click on that and here you need to describe your text and it will create the content automatically for you. Over here it is providing you some sort of suggestions as well. Here I am building the website for my training site. So let me provide some sort of prompt here to my power pages. So I am just providing a prompt like write a content for training site by explaining the different technologies like power apps, power automate, power virtual agents and power pages. And let's click on OK. So what it will start? It will find the content and suggest something automatically for you. And over here you can see that it has suggested this beautiful content related the context which I provided to it. Now over here there are a couple of more options available like you can change the tone of your content. So let's say I am making it more for professionals. So let me make it professional and it will change the language tone which it provided as a content. Over here you can adjust the length of the content as well. Let's say you need the more content here. You can just like as a more longer and it will generate the more content for you over here. Obviously behind the scene is it uses AI to generate the content. So make sure that before applying it to your page, you will read the content and everything is fine. Click on add to page. Over here it provides the rewrite functionality as well. You can simply click on it and it will rewrite the content for you. So let it to happen and it is showing the content like this and now I'm ready with that and let's add that on my page. So it has added that something on my page like this. Okay. So this is how the first co-pilot feature for text will work. Now let me talk about one more interesting feature. Let's say for an example, you want to create a basic form for your power pages. So you can simply click on form option and over here it is providing you the new AI generated form experience over here. Now here you can ask your co-pilot to create a, some kind of form or over here it is providing some suggestions as well. So let's say this is the power platform training site. So I will just tell my co-pilot that create a training registration form. So let me provide a prompt here like create training registration form and let me hit enter and let's see what it does. So here I can see this many of columns. Now let's say for an example, I want to customize that in some way. I can do that over here as well. Let's say for an example, uh, over here the different course value is should be a drop down like Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI. So I can simply tell my co-pilot and give the command like this. Make the courses as choice column by adding the value as Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI and hit enter. So what it will do is it will start executing that command and make the changes accordingly on your preview. And here we are, the prompt executed successfully and now it become as a drop down like this. You can see three values over here. Now from this form, I want to remove my gender, age and end date column. Then I provide a prompt to my co-pilot as remove end date, gender and age column and rest of the things can be managed by the co-pilot. And here we are, it has removed those columns successfully, right? And over here you can see the history of all the prompts that you have provided and here it provided you some sort of suggestions as well. Once we are ready, click on OK and we are all good. Let it to happen. And here we are, the form has been created successfully. And now let's provide a permission on this one. So. Let me provide the permission on this table. I want to provide entire permission over here. I want to provide this to the admin anonymous user and authenticated user and click on save. And here we are. We are ready with the stuff. So you have seen that with Copilot your form is created within few minutes. 
and you haven't written a single line of code or you haven't created any dataverse table behind the scene. Over here, if I go to the data section, you can see that this copilot tables has been created automatically behind the scene under your data sections over here. So this is how the copilot and power pages will work together. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and press the subscribe button to never miss any updates from me. Looking to connect me on any of my social media handle? All the links are available on the channel cover homepage. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.